with me suhas he is all india rank 10 we are going to ask few questions and try to decode his preparation journey as well as strategy so suhas welcome and congratulations for your wonderful rank so my first question to you just uh, 30 minutes before we check all the students data as well as the result so when we check your result it's all india rank 10 although the site is not working properly so we are not able to collect the marks but rank we have finalized so uh, do you expect this rank and how is your feeling just after the result i was very happy after i heard that i have got top 10 rank great so uh, tell me something about your preparation journey when you start your preparation for je advance and what is your strategy during your class 11th and 12th when you start your journey for uh, je I prepare. I started preparation at eighth eighth class. From since class eight. Yeah. So in class eight, you have uh, learned the subject of physics, chemistry, maths of class eleventh. Yeah, eleventh. Have you faced any difficulty? It's obvious because the mind is not developed enough to understand eleventh cons concepts, but we can manage the, the basics. But when you are in the class eleventh, I guess then you are in the comfortable position. Yeah. Okay. So um, when you are in the class eleventh. and when you start your first topic that is very easy for you because you already wrote the read those topics in class 8 9th and 10th yeah it's easy yes? yes okay so how you prepare your maths mostly maths is about solving problems so you just go on solving assignments that should be enough and do you get time to play some games and all yes in a week i play thrice which which sports you generally i play? like badminton badminton Okay, inside the campus you play? No, not inside the campus. Outside the campus. Okay, and uh, mm, while preparing for JE Advance, uh, do you have certain strategy to solve these many questions or subjective, objective? What is your time distribution? Well, like time distribution. Time distribution. Have you solved all the questions of the Jetanya booklet? No. Why? Time is not sufficient. Like, just spare one minute. So I ask this question to almost all student and. Uh, I have seen that the booklet consists of very exhaustive uh, yeah. material, and it consists of lot many questions. It is more than enough. But generally, uh, student feel that we have to complete all the exercise. But as all of you have um, listened, that uh, uh, Suhas got all India rank ten, but he was also not able to solve the all the questions. So if you are not able to solve entire booklet, then it's okay. Just focus on the concept. So how you uh, prepare your notes after the class or during the class, and how you remember all the formulas. When I prepare notes in the class itself, and then after the class, there's like two hours class and two hours study hour. In the study hour, for an hour, you revise the notes, and the next hour you solve problems. Okay. Have you faced any difficulty while understanding the concepts? Yes. yes? How you overcome that? I usually like spend ten to fifteen minutes try to understand on my own. If I still can't get it, I will go to teacher or my friends. That's great. And how you manage the time? Time management is very important. How you manage the time? in exam or while preparation while preparation mostly spend on chemistry because it's more of mugging up than in logic so it's like 8 hours a day for chemistry in the final stages of preparation 2 hours maths 2 hours physics every day every day this is apart from your uh, classroom no, in the classroom in the classroom and Total. after the classroom that that means after the classroom you spend 6 hours a day for self study yeah 6 6 every day almost every day except sundays except sunday and what is the time table in sunday they usually conduct in the two paper exam 9 to 12 2 to 5 after that i just go home relax talk with my parents every sunday you give the exam of je advance yeah, every sunday since class 11 yeah since the starting of class 11 since class 11 to class 12 every sunday you give je advance paper yeah and both the paper 1 and paper 2 sometimes it's mains because before one month of mains you need to Mains, so. Okay, before one month, you generally focus on J.E. Main, but since from class eleventh, you give J.E. Advance paper every Sunday. Every Sunday. Okay, and uh, have you got some kind of demotivation when your score is not up to the mark? Yes. Yes. So how you handle that demotivation? It's like not demotivation. It's like more of a push that we need to solve better in next exam. It's like motivation kind of. Okay, okay. fine. So before closing this, I will ask uh, few questions on uh, today's evening session also when topper's talk is there, and I want to ask you um, three things. Three uh, things which must every aspirant do. 
every aspirant who are preparing for JE Advanced, these are the three things according to you that you must do to your juniors. Yeah, first thing is, you should see where you have gone wrong in every exam and make sure you don't repeat the mistakes again. Means you are talking about the after exam analysis. Yeah. Okay, that is very important. The first thing according to Suhas is after all the mock test or grand test you give, just analyze those papers just after the exam. This is the must do thing first. Second? Writing notes in class. without Inside missing. the class. So preparing the right set of notes is important. Short notes are important. Short notes is important. That's great. Third? Uh, you should play some sports for like relaxing your mind. That's great. So uh, you must play some sports also because physical health is very important. It will boost your preparation and you will calm and cool during your exams also. So it is important to spend some time in any sports, either it is badminton, cricket, football, having your interest, based on your interest you can do. And uh, so I just want to ask, during your preparation, every student do some mistakes also. And if I will ask you, start preparing again from class 11. So you will eliminate these two things. What are those two things which you want to eliminate from your preparation? In the initial stage of my class 11, I didn't write notes that properly, so I would do that. So preparation, that's good. So when you are in the class 11th, you must write the notes and because few students skip in the class 11th, that preparation of notes. So to revise very well, it is very important to have a very good notes from day one. And the second thing? Second thing. That's it, I have no other regrets. That's great. So, uh, this, there is only one regret you have and rest everything you have did very well, right? Yeah. Uh, do you have in use some social media or anything like this? After the exam. After the exam. During the exam, you haven't seen? Mm, no. No. And I, I, I spoken with lot many toppers and everyone say one line that we have never seen any YouTube videos during to understand the concept. Have you seen any YouTube videos? Our subject? Hmm. No. No? Never? Never. Okay. No channel you have seen? No. Okay, that's great. So, all the concept you have learned in the classroom and textbooks. Yeah. That's great, Suhas. That's great input from you. Thank you very much. And again, I will uh, have a interaction with you today evening. Thank you very much.